This was a cool old Plymouth. It's for sale. I didn't buy it, but here it is anyway. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. So we entered into Jarvis, Ontario for their town-wide yard sale, which included Townsend, which is right next door. Here we are, we're going in. Yes, the camera is tilted. There's a wedge of black in the corner of the other. Um, camera just didn't sit right. So to compensate, I made the image straight, but I lost a little corner of that. So, we bought a few things from here. It was an interesting stop. There's a lot of traffic on Highway 6 because we had to cross it to go there and then back. And we stopped at another place along the way to this one. This was a Harley guy. He had a lot of Harley stuff, uh, including a my motorcycle for sale. Um, I had two boxes of parts. Um, other stuff wasn't too much of what I would be looking for. But you can see that they've got a, an eclectic set of uh, things on offer. Yeah, there's a lot of different things there. Some st stools. Uh, then I, was, we went around the corner and found this other one. I didn't have video on that one, but I do have some video for this one. You can see the vehicle we drove in. And got a few things here as well. From the other side of the street, I got a seed spreader um, they'll be useful. I've got a project I'll need it on. And then we continue down to another one that was at the main intersection in the town. Um, this was two different sellers. They were just using the space that was at the side of the, I think the restaurant. And then we short distance away we went to the Walpole Antique Farm. That's where the Plymouth was for sale. Here's uh, another open hood view of it. It's a Belvedere model of Plymouth. And here's the for sale sign for the Plymouth. Um, they say it's a drivable car. I noticed that on the passenger side some of the door panels weren't um, in pristine shape, they, they were not rusty, but they weren't smooth. There it is, runs and drives, that's all they're claiming. 5,500 bucks, Canadian. Here's the hood open. They, I think it still has the oil-filled air cleaner instead of paper cartridge. Here's a steamer trunk, five bucks, pretty good deal. The inside look very nice don't have room for it so it did not come I couldn't carry it either so I was, but I have nowhere to put it at the moment inside they had a couple of tables of books they had their own merchandise for the museum it's a fundraiser the whole thing they were pretty well taking what you would offer them um, tools were in higher proportion because these are all uh, guys who work with the tools, fixing up the, the farm and the farm machinery that's there. There were some ho other household goods there as well. Um, 
think uh, Westwood Avenue got a few treasures from here in addition to what she's already got um, mugs yes if you're looking for those they don't usually go for much in any case they have this interesting conversion of a I think of an old stereo cabinet into a cedar chest uh, small appliances as usual and some puzzles and the last bit we're gonna see is the next part is in Townsend it was inside of his church um, it became our last stop because there was a nasty storm approaching as we were leaving and um, we drove by a couple of other uh, yard sales but they were all pretty well packed up by the time we got anywhere near them so we went on to another thing that we were dealing with afterwards yes they have this bell um, I'm sure the church can tell you a lot more about the bell but it goes back a long way Here's the interior, and uh, not a huge yard sale, but I did score some interesting items. You'll be seeing some interest. There, we went past them, but we didn't stop at them. I did look for Hawaiian shirts. I did not succeed in finding any. These are uh, all the treasures that they had on offer. And they had books as well as I'm sure they had some Bibles that were available because they were sending someone on a mission. So this was a choose and donate what you can. I got, uh, I think it was 10 of these small bowls, plates. And this is the reason I picked them up. This may be a larger variant of that, but hey, what can I say? That was a women's blouse. Anyway. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this yard sale visit, which was a town-wide, so it was more than one yard sale. Um, hope you subscribe, give us a like, and uh, maybe even a mark on the bell so that you'll know the next one as it comes out. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.